Hello. Um, today is Christopher Nolan's birthday, and, you know, I've talked about him a lot on uh, my channel. Um, I've talked about uh, Dark Knight Trilogy. I rewatched these films uh, not too long ago. Um, back a few weeks ago, back when uh, there was a bunch of anniversaries going on. Uh, didn't get to talk about Batman Begins because, well, you know, uh, that was uh, in June last month. Um, but I did mention that. Uh, I've, I've also done like an overview of all, th all three films. And I've talked about The Dark Knight Rises and other things. But I just wanted to talk about how uh, I feel he's one of the best directors uh, around. And I think it's fairly evident from those videos. Um, talked about Dunkirk. I love Dunkirk. I haven't really talked about all uh, his other stuff. Maybe I've mentioned some in the past when discussing uh, any of the Batman films or Dunkirk. But I do, I actually enjoy and love all of his films. Um, uh, Insomnia, I think, is a very underrated movie of his in that it gets overlooked more. Um, some will argue the prestige is, but um, I don't know, I think because of how huge and, uh, Batman Begins was, and it was a second collaboration he had with Christian Bale and Michael Caine, um, uh, and Nolan really became a huge director uh, to be looked at, so I think the prestige probably uh, helped or was helped by Batman Begins. Um, though Insomnia did very well, too. Um, you know, Insomnia had Academy Award winners Al Pacino, Robin Williams, and uh, Hilary Swank. Uh, though there's also Inception and Interstellar. Um, uh, those films are great as well. I enjoy, uh, I enjoy those two. I enjoy all of them. And I also enjoy following a Memento. Uh, Memento really was the movie that, before Batman Begins, launched him in the in the independent world, at least. Um, also got him his first Academy Award nomination. Now, you know, might not mean much in that regard, because, you know, awards and stuff don't always mean anything. Sometimes the best are often overlooked, be it they don't get nominated or they do get nominated, but they don't win. Um, and the following was his first film, came out in 1998, um, I believe in Britain, in film festivals, and then in 99 it came out in America, but 98 is when it originally came out, and it was a pretty good film. Uh, on the Criterion uh collection ed uh, edition blu-ray well and dvd uh it comes with a short film of his called doodlebug which is quite interesting um but i might actually uh talk and discuss about these films some of these movies all later on um talked a lot about dunkirk i've talked about these films a lot i'm not really sure what else i can say about the dark knight trilogy um the only thing I haven't done is talked about them all individually. I did talk about The Dark Knight Rises in the fact that, you know, it's the third film, and people often criticize the third film in a trilogy, and um, I explained how, because of the hype of The Dark Knight, or how how beloved The Dark Knight was, and how amazing it was, people had a lot of expectations, and for many people, those expectations were not lived up to. That was like the second of like a, of a kind of a sort of series within this uh, little show of film talk thing where I just, you know, defended Return of the Jedi and Dark Knight Rises for being three film, the third films in a trilogy that aren't really that bad. Um, I have an idea to do another uh, one of those, but... 
we'll see what happens there. But, you know, I've talked about this trilogy very well. I don't know if I'll ever really talk about them all that in-depth. I'm not saying I won't, but um, as of now, I think uh, uh, videos I've done on them uh, kind of speak for themselves. And I'll have links, like our uh, side there, to go and link to after this video if you want. For that and Dunkirk, what I had to say about Dunkirk, because uh, those four films are the ones I've mostly talked about, because um, the others I really haven't touched upon, and um, I kind of want to. Um, quite honestly, I've been in the mood to watch Following lately. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to get to. I will talk about Following in the next episode, but it's been on my mind. A little bit. Um, and July 21st, which was uh, like a week or so ago. Yeah, it was a week from yesterday. And uh, it was the one year anniversary of Dunkirk. Um, it's really hard to believe. Like one year ago, I and so many others went to the theater and saw it, and that was quite an experience to see. Um, I would love to see uh, Nolan's films in IMAX, uh, honestly, anymore since that's how he's supposed to. I did see The Dark Knight Rises in IMAX. Um, I was a bit disappointed, but the IMAX in Des Moines isn't that great. Basically, to put it in perspective, if you don't understand what I mean by not being very great, it's the IMAX is part of the Science Center, which is fine. You know, they have a lot of documentaries like nature documentaries and space documentaries that you know that's all fine uh, the thing is in the theater itself it's not really all that great you now when I would go on to field trips to the science center and see like a movie or I did see Superman Returns in the IMAX and I enjoyed it more but then again I was younger and I was also shorter uh, and that's kind of a big important thing to keep in mind because being 18 years old and be <clears throat> being taller seeing the dark night rises um, and I sat down uh, it's very small seats and they're all cramped they're like all in a row but they're very small seats so you're like if there's going to be a bunch of people you're on, it seems like you're kind of all on top of each other. Not just next to you for arm space, but also in front and behind you because it's very kind of a short, well, you know, the spaces in the front and back aren't that great in terms of in the seating it's just not very good uh, and the screen itself isn't all that impressive either um, I was about three years old went to Florida and um, it, it was a uh, I went to uh, and see an IMAX movie at a uh, about like the oceans and stuff and um, I remember as three years old just seeing this huge big experience. It was a huge screen. It was just amazing and incredible and it was just very bright and vibrant. I remember that's a huge screen. Uh, I was three years old but that did leave a very big impact on me. That might also have helped be a reason why I really love movies. I enjoy movies. Um, though that seed I believe was planted before I saw that IMAX movie at my age of three, maybe four. But whatever age I was, it was really huge, and it just really was quite something, honestly, and I enjoyed it a lot. But then, remembering that experience and then seeing The Dark Knight Rises... Now, I love The Dark Knight Rises. I've said that before. But when you go to see a movie... I, like the way it's the director intended you to see it, it's, it kind of
kind of ruins the experience. I mean, the experience is great because you're seeing a, a good movie, or in my opinion, a great movie. But when you feel cramped, and the screen isn't all that big like it should be, uh, it's it's not very... It, it kind of... The experience isn't that great. And I could go on about that here, but that's not the point. The point is Christopher Nolan. Though he does like to make films in IMAX, and I think he does a great job of it. Um, even though my experience with The Dark Knight Rises may not have been one of the greatest, you know, it was still... Really, you know, it was still pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, I, or I enjoyed watching the movie again and having a sort of IMAX experience, though it wasn't that great. It was still nice to see the movie a different way before you know, I later saw it on Blu ray DVD and all that. But basically, uh, I just wanted to make this video saying, you know, hey, happy birthday. Christopher Nolan. Oh, I doubt he'll ever see this. But, uh, you know, it's his birthday. Um, I hope he has a good birthday. Uh, and I also, I'm in, I'm in the mood to watch uh, following. I might actually eventually, throughout the week, maybe watch all of his movies. Um, I'm not saying I definitely will, but depending on the mood, or my mood, I might do that. Um, I have, I'd really do want to see following again, and I think I might want to watch Memento also. And then from there, I'll see what happens. But, yeah, Nolan, he's like a, a fantastic director. My favorite director uh, making films right now. Every movie he makes is like an, it's like an event, it's an experience, like no other. Even if you don't see it in an IMAX, it's just a, it's just as impactful. I'm sure on a proper IMAX screen it'd be even more so. But for me, I'd probably have to go to Chicago, but I don't want to, you know, drive or ride with a friend or somebody uh, six to eight hours just to see like a two hour movie, two, two and a half hour film, and then come back home. Because if I was going to go watch a Christopher Nolan film in uh, IMAX in Chicago, you know, I'd actually probably be, it'd be best if I like, like uh, I'm going to do something in Chicago, not just see this movie. You know, there's a purpose for me. Maybe you know, taking a little vacation, just hanging out in Chicago for a while. Just see what's around, see what's new. Because I've been to Chicago before. And that was a nice time. Uh, but something like that, if I do anything like that again, and then one of his films is out in the theaters around that time, I go see the IMAX version, or, uh, or the IMAX, to see his new film, then great. Otherwise, you know, I don't see the incentive of me going to Chicago just to see a movie from him. But until Des Moines gets its own proper IMAX, uh, that doesn't look like the size of a home movie theater uh, made in the design of an IMAX theater, uh, I just, yeah, I guess I'm going to be missing out on part of that experience because so many people say, you need to see it in IMAX, otherwise. And this is an actual quote from some people. If you don't see it in IMAX, there's no point in having attempting to go and watch it. I'm just going to tell you that now. Don't even bother to go. Like, but if you like this movie, why don't you encourage people to go see it? Because those people will also praise the movie and say how it was good. Like Dunkirk, you know, like... That makes sense. But yeah, I might talk about some of his other movies. That's a, I, I've actually kind of wanted to do that for a while, but we'll see. We'll see what will happen, or at least I will. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you all, you all will have a good day, have a good week. And, um, 
hope Christopher Nolan has a good day. You know, it's his birthday, so you should have one. You should have a good day. But, uh, yeah. Until next time. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing, and good luck to you. So, that's all.